that all power belongs to God is clearly taught throughout the entire Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, this is the doctrine of divine omnipotence, that attribute of God by which He possesses all power and is therefore able to do all that He pleases and purposes to do. In other words, there can be no opposition and no resistance that could ever hinder the eternal purposes of God because He is a God of all power. The Scripture asserts in Exodus 15:6, Your right hand, O Lord, is majestic in power. Job 9, 4, He is mighty in strength. The psalmist in Psalm 42, verse 8, The Lord strong and mighty. Psalm 33, verse 6, By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and by the breath of His mouth all their host. For He spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The psalmist goes on to say, He made His power known. He rebuked the Red Sea, and it dried up. The prophet Isaiah said, There is none who can deliver out of my hand. God is the speaker. I act, and who can reverse it? The prophet Jeremiah, Ah, Lord, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power, and by your outstretched arm, nothing is difficult to you. Philippians 3.10 speaks of the power of the resurrection. Hebrews 1.3, the word of His power. And Revelation 1 verse 8 identifies God as the Almighty. He is almighty. The power of God was clearly seen in His act of creation. God spoke, and everything came into being out of nothing by the sheer word of His sovereign authority and power. Moreover, the power of God does continually sustain and uphold all of the works of His hands. Divine omnipotence governs all of human history and all of the affairs of providence. All creation is under the sway of His power. But by far, the greatest display of the power of God is seen in His saving works. Greater than God's work in physical creation is His saving work in His new creation. Greater than God calling light into being is His causing gospel light to shine into the darkened hearts of men. Greater than God moving mountains is His removing the heavy load of sin from the human soul. Greater than God forming man from the dust of the earth is His reforming him from the depravity of his sin. All this is by God's saving power, and it is the very pinnacle of His saving work as He saves His people from their sins. Only a God who is omnipotent can display such sovereign power.